Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final video in my Vault Hunters series. Vault Hunters 1.18 is right around the corner, should be releasing sometime this month, and I'm super pumped about it and can't wait to get started. But with that said, I will be ending this Vault Hunters series here. I wanted to continue for a lot longer, but running two Vault Hunters series just doesn't seem like much sense, so I would rather end this one now, give Vault Hunters a bit of a break, and then when Vault Hunters 1.18 comes out, get right back to it. I just want to say thank you all for watching this series, I have truly enjoyed the series, and I hope you have as well. Now, just so it's not just a boring video and this is pretty much it, I was thinking we could do a tiny bit of a world tour, just, well, that's not much, we can basically see everything from where we're standing right now, but just, uh, you know, to get some memories back. When we made, for example, this animal farm, which is extremely loud, this patch, which I, I've, I have actually used this for a little bit, mainly for the potatoes and the wheat, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out, except for the path. Yeah, it, it got way more snowy than I wanted it to. I guess I could have just installed glowstone or something like that. But then we also went ahead, I think we did this on a live stream, yeah we did. Uh, we installed a cactus farm, which I don't think I got to use that much. However, the sugarcane farm and the bamboo farm definitely came in clutch. And of course we got the pumpkin farm over here, which is completely full. Melon farm over here, which is also completely full. The, oh, here comes the snow. We better hurry and get in, in under the, the by, by the fire. Yes, by the fire. There we go. We made this ginormous farm right here. And I haven't been AFKing here for a whole lot because I haven't had, like, I haven't needed the items from it. But I mean, it's here. And it's quite effective. But that is pretty much for the farms, of course. We got the honey farm over here. Right here, which it didn't really expand on. It's still like the same uh, three bees, basically. <laughs> doing all the work here and I think it's time to get back in because otherwise this is going to be very fussy to watch on YouTube. Then of course we got the Blackstone portal right here. Of course this is the uh, Vault Crystal area where I would place them on the pedestals. I think we only did that once unfortunately. I did want to do more streams with it but hopefully in Vault Hunters 1.18 I'm gonna be doing more stuff like that. My very very poorly set up potion brewing area. My drawers area which I'm really happy about and then of course our storage system which this hasn't been I'm not gonna say perfect. Digital storage would definitely have been better, but for the price of this, this has actually been really, really cool. The way I set it up is basically this is connected to all these chests right here, and then all the oak chests it uh, it doesn't it doesn't interact with them, nor the the drawers. So this is basically just like all of the what would normally be drive discs in like refined storage or applied logistics. Oh yeah, I did get the trophy. Okay, I will show that clip. I will show the clip of me getting the champion crate. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. So if you didn't watch the last episode, basically I completed a raffle vault, which made me the champion, and it is currently Monday, and well, this thing right here is in my inventory, so I think we should just get to it and see what we got in this amazing shulker box. Here we go. Ooh, this is exciting. Okay, so we got, of course got an unidentified artifact, which we also managed to get somehow defeating a boss in the last episode, which I'm really, really happy about. So this is going to be my second uh, unidentified artifact right here. We got a few mystery boxes, some vault burgers, some other stuff as well, which is really good. Some unidentified vault gear, which I will gladly take, try and not reveal what is on the crystal. Just yet in a way, we of course got a trophy, Right here, record for beating the boss in 4 minutes and 35 seconds. That's actually really, really close. Now, where do I place this? Hmm, actually... Yeah, perfect! That, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do for sure. Let's quickly open these. Pikarang would, of course, be amazing, but unfortunately that was not the case this time around. Alright, two vault totems and two pieces of vault gear. Let's see what we... Get. Chest plate is meh. Totem is uh, plus two health, but two levels. Meh, meh, and leech. Oh, the, that that does big attack damage, but leech. That that's hmm. that's worth something, I would say. Now let's reveal this artifact already. Let's see what it is. Hopefully it's not a duplicate. Du duplicate. It is not. It's gonna go right next to Captain Sparkles, a skeleton, a zombie, and a creeper. That makes two vault artifacts right there. And now, of course, we got the crystal, which has prismatic, 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 crowded, safe zone, 
rotten and locked. Oh dear. It locked. So, oh, that that's a horrible crystal. Um, locked basically means that I have to complete the objective, and the com objective is to kill the boss, and we got 10 obelisks required. Oh boy, that's... That's really, really not good. <laughs> that would be very, very sad not to show that, so I'm definitely gonna show that. Um, yeah, our, our vault door room, a little bit too small at the end of it, but uh, I'll, I'll keep a note of that. <laughs> <laughs> for World Hunters 1.18 and my, my talking chair, which I'm probably gonna end the episode here. Well, not right now, but in a moment. My statue room, I did end up getting another one and I chose Diorite and... <laughs> anyway, moving on. And this setup, I'm really happy with this setup actually. And I think that pretty much wraps up the base tour as the sun is setting and the night falls. I mean, we do have over here, that's this has been the mine. I've been down there for a very long time. This is basically the world that we have explored. We didn't actually explore a whole lot. Um, found a mine shaft over here, and there's a strong, that's the stronghold that leads us to the end, which we haven't done anything in there. And yeah, that, that's pretty much that. But guys, like I said, this is going to be the end of the Vault Hunter series. Once again, really hope you have enjoyed watching the series. I have thoroughly enjoyed making it. It's been a ton of fun, and I cannot wait for Vault Hunters 1.18. Very excited for that, and as soon as it's out, you... you you better believe I'm making a video on it and a series, not, not just a video. I'm, I'm, we're getting right back to running vaults. But guys, like I said, that's gonna be it. Really hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. And my friends, this isn't the end. This is only the beginning. <laughs>